I did think it gave everyone confidence just because we just beat the best team in the world and I think it we can beat anybody in the country if we can mm -hmm. beat them. So I think that helped us when we got to the tougher games. Yeah, I mean, they had cruised through the ACC, uh, beaten uh, Maryland, then Tinch no hit Florida State, and then uh, we pulled out a 2 nothing win over uh, NC State in the finals. And I think they were feeling good. Um, we thought maybe we might get a national seed. Uh, we were dreading that we were going to get sent to Tennessee again. We got sent to Tennessee again. So I think there was a little disappointment, one that we didn't host, or two that we got sent to Tennessee again. That was a tough team. That was definitely a tough team. So, you know, I think the message was is that we have something special here. So, you know, you guys, you have the ability to do this. So now it's in your hands to actually do it. Louisville was the opener of that regional. And uh, it was a, a pitcher's duel between Tench and, and the Louisville pitcher. And uh, Misty stepped up in the bottom of the 10th. First pitch she saw, she actually went opposite field uh, down the right field line. It just curled right inside the line. It was one of those. Did that just happen moments? Getting Misty to, to end it in 10 innings with a dramatic flair like that was really, really special. I mean, Misty was on fire that regional and super regional. So, I mean, I think it was just a matter of who's gonna pop one out. Caroline, uh, it was zero, zero game, got up and uh, she fouled all seven pitches. And uh, we had the bases loaded at the time and she fouled off, kept fouling off, fouling off, fouling off. And one of them actually went toward the third base dugout and the third baseman probably should have caught it. After the seventh foul ball, the eighth pitch, she drove to the right center gap for a grand slam and four nothing lead with Tinch was, was pretty safe. And uh, you just talk about an electric atmosphere at that point, just to keep battling and battling and battling and to finally put one over the fence and uh, give us the lead was, was pretty big. Yeah, so we were, we were, I believe, trailing in the championship game, and, and the skies opened up, and it was about an hour rain delay. Um, but you could just tell Tennessee had the momentum. They had beaten us. They I think they were up in the second game, and we go to a rain delay, and it was just kind of like everybody was kind of down. So we were up in the press box for a while, and probably people don't know this or probably don't remember, but Craig Fain was our manager uh, back before these girls were on the team, and he was actually in grad school at Tennessee at the time and was doing the scoreboard for the regionals and um, toward the end of the rain delay I guess the music person had left and they were out of music and Craig just kind of said in the press box anybody got any song requests? You know Misty was up to bat she was going up to bat and she didn't take the bat out of her hands during the entire rain delay she just had her helmet on and her bat like she was ready to hit the whole time I'm like Misty we don't even know when this is gonna <laughs> when this rain delay is gonna end and she didn't care she just had the bat in her hands and her helmet on and she was ready to go. And I just jokingly said, play some Inner Sandman, just thinking there's no way in heck that he'll ever play it. But Craig being a hokey was like, yes, absolutely. So he played it. And I'm just sitting here like, oh my gosh, he actually did it. Our whole dugout went nuts. At first, my initial thought was, are they really playing <laughs> our song, our tech song at their field? People are banging on benches. People are jumping. And Misty was so jacked up, I'm not even kidding you. Right when the rain delay was done, she was up to bat, boom, it just smokes one. It was like, she was so amped up, like the ball could have probably been three feet out of the zone and she would have hit it out. It was nuts. It was probably one of the best stories ever of that, of that regional. I think our, our SID at the time, BJ, was in the press box and it came down after. They said they were going to play it and he was like, uh, you sure? Go ahead. <laughs> it was me that got it played, but Craig actually hit the button and but it was definitely a very big moment because the girls got fired up and uh, turned, the, turned the tide around pretty quickly.